Hello, I'm Chuck Moore, teaching pastor at the First Baptist Church of Champaign Savoy. Thanks for listening and watching today. If you have ever lived in the Midwest, or if you happen to be living in the Midwest now, you probably are familiar with the phrase, if you don't like the weather, don't worry. It's going to be changing in the next 10 minutes. How true that is. Uh, we here in the Midwest seem to go from rain to snow to sleet to ice to sun, from hot to cold, back to hot, more hot than cold. Well, you get the point. The weather here in the Midwest always seems to be changing. Well, look around you in the world today. How much of the world seems to be changing right now? The world of education and entertainment, the world of health, the world of transportation, technology, and especially given everything that we are witnessing right now in conjunction with COVID-19, look at how much of the world is changing. The stock market, unpredictable. The news, unpredictable. Politicians, unpredictable. Finances, unpredictable. The world is constantly changing. Which raises the question for us then, so where do we go to find hope? Is there anything, or maybe I should say, is there anyone that we can really depend on? The Bible shares with us a couple of passages of Scripture that I think are quite relevant to that question. The first one is actually found in the very last book of the Old Testament, the book called Malachi. Malachi was a man who many consider to have been the last Old Testament prophet in the history of Israel. In Malachi chapter 3, God is communicating to the people of Israel, and he wants to remind them that their relationship is not changing with him. You see, for many years, the Israelites had lived in a land called Babylonia. They had been held in captivity. They had been set free. They were now back in the city of Jerusalem. And having returned to the city of Jerusalem, God wants his people to realize that his relationship with them hasn't changed. That's the reason that he says here in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, the Lord says, I do not change. The Lord says, I do not change. And that's not the only place in the Bible where God says that. In fact, he also says that in the New Testament. In one of the final books in the New Testament, in the book of Hebrews, God says this in chapter 13. Jesus Christ shall be the same yesterday, today, and forever. In other words, throughout human history, the good news has always and continues to be the same. In the midst of uncertainty, chaos, and confusion, God says, I do not change. And as bad as things might seem to be today, can you imagine how bad things were for the Hebrews in which the writer shared those words that Jesus doesn't change? Those were individuals who were being persecuted because of their faith. Their homes were being destroyed. Their reputations were being dismantled. Their families were being separated. And yet the good news was and continues to be that Jesus doesn't change. God is saying, you can still count on me. You can depend upon me. You can put your hope in me because I do not change. Many years ago, I was a part of a network of churches. It's a great denomination called the Christian and Missionary Alliance. The founder of that wonderful organization was a man by the name of Albert Simpson. Many years ago, in a time of confusion, Mr. Simpson wrote the words to a song. It's a song about Jesus. Yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. All may change, but Jesus never Glory to his name. My hope and my prayer for you today is that in the midst of confusion, worry, fear, anxiety, whatever it is that you are facing and feeling, you will find a God who says, I'm here. You can count on me. I am not changing. Thanks for listening.